Hi guys, Mark Dawes here, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the Dropbox folder with all the resources and information that I promised that I would send to you post the course so you can actually see where everything is and navigate your way around it. Well, the link should have opened up this folder for you, which is NFPS Instructor Resources 2017. And in there, there are four other folders plus another document here. This document, basically, if you click on it, it tells you what you can do when you leave the course. So all the stuff I would have talked to you about, about becoming a licensed center, the use of logos, etc., what you can and what you can't use is on there, uh, what you can advertise on your website and what you can't. So if you're looking to actually starting to promote your business or promote what you do, then please do read this document carefully. Also, on there is some more documentation in the documentation folder. And in here, there is a document here called An Inspector Calls. Now, this was a document put together by a very, very senior health and safety professional called Colin Ash. And it deals with the issue of what you do should a CQC or Ofsted inspector arrive and say you can't do this and you can't do that, particularly with regards to the use of pain compliance techniques or restrictive interventions. It's a very, very good letter written by a health and safety professional that's yours to use as you see fit. In here, in this folder here, are additional risk assessments. So we've got manual handling risk assessments, operational PI risk assessment, a restraint training risk assessment, and a venue risk assessment. So there's more risk assessment documentation for you to back up the stuff that's already in your manual. I've also provided you with nine or well, 18 policies that are current. We have these policies reviewed every year. In fact, in there are two debt recovery letters as well, as well as a, a business proposal document and a term and condition document. So if you're working for an organization and you're setting yourself up as a training center already, then there's all the documentation and policies in there. If you're starting your own business, then all of these documents, uh, the policies and uh, are everything that we use in our business that we've developed over the years that have been written by various professionals that we've been engaged to do so. And most of these will be required by an awarding organization should you wish to register with one. Also here is a CPD hours form. Some people will ask you for evidence of continual professional development. So there is an example of a CPD professional development form. It's very, very simple. The date you did something, the CPD activity, number of hours. Uh, if you need any more help with that, then get back to me, I'll explain it to you. If you don't wish to become a licensed center and you just want to run under your own steam, which is absolutely great, by the way, then there's also an example certificate in here that, that we use a template for ours with our logo on the bottom that you're welcome to use in that position. And you can use this template to produce in-house certificates for your own staff, should you wish to do so, or the people you train. I've also put some level two course lesson and day planners in there. There's a one day breakaway planner in there that looks like this. So it breaks down how we actually break down what we teach within what duration and time scale. You've got a level two one there for children and young people. Uh, a day one and day two one, so there's a two day level two course there. A level two course for security there, uh, similar format. Uh, a level three course, uh, sorry, a three day level two course, which is a full course there, um, with all of the breakdowns of what we teach in, in, in what time scale. And you're, you're free, by the way, to, to make your own lesson planners up. These are only there as a guide for you, they're not set in stone. You can change them around and move them around any way you wish. The learner observation sheet, I've put this in there for you as well. Uh, this is similar to the one that you filled in on the course, uh, where it goes through all the different techniques, which are all numbered. Again, feel free to amend this and change this as you see fit, but evidence of what you've taught is hugely important. There's also in here a restraint report form. So, you know, if you're working with schools or any agency, actually, and they don't have a, a proper reporting system for physical intervention restraint, then here's a, rep uh, a report form that we've put together. The beauty of this is, is at the back, it shows pictures of techniques. And again, you know, that's an easy reference point. You, you, and again, you're free to amend and change and use as you see fit. There's also letters here um, that, that I put in there with, with information for schools. So if you're going to approach schools for business, then there's, you know, there's course comparison costs here between us and Team Teach in terms of what they charge compared to what we charge. Um, so you can see that we're quite a, a valuable commodity in terms of value for money as, as opposed to Team Teach. That's in PowerPoint format for you there. There's a, a course comparison there. I've, I've got it in there twice for you, actually. I don't know why I've done that, but there you go. Uh, there's a letter here to Chair, to chair of Governors. I'll put that in, in Word format and PDF for you. So if you want to approach a school, then there's a letter you can send to the Board of Governors there asking for 15 minutes of their time to show them what you do. 
And again, another one here where schools in England are now accountable to a governing board, sometimes referred to as governing body. So there's lots of information about there, which is current in terms of schools and you know how you can approach them to, to tender for business, etc. I've also put this in here, which is the second edition of my Understanding Reasonable Force book. Excuse the mug on there. Uh, you probably heard the story about that photograph by now. This is available on Amazon and Kindle, etc. But I put the PDF version in there for you because there's lots and lots of information there with case law and references around the use of reasonable force. So that should be useful for you. There are PowerPoint presentations in here too. There are loads of PowerPoint presentations in there for you, including the presentation that Alex gave as well. There's an additional folder in here with positive behavioral support stuff, anger and aggression and violence, autism awareness, positive and safe, positive behavior management, restrictive practices. There's loads and loads of information in there for you, so you don't have to use all of it, but it's there for you to use as you see fit. I put training questionnaires in there, which are exactly the same ones we use in our course. And again, I'll put the example certificate in there, so it looks like you've got that twice. Hey, belt and braces, why not? Medical questionnaire and declaration, really important form. This is what you filled in at the beginning of the course, uh, and I would recommend that all your students do the same. You've got a post-course questionnaire in there, similar to the one that you filled in post the course. Pre-course joining instructions and pre-course violence to staff questionnaire. This is like a little risk assessment document that we send out to staff sometimes when we're training to get information back from them, which we can then feedback to the management system. There's also videos in here. There's the Alan Watts video that I showed you at the beginning of the course. There's a video, the Amy Cuddy one about body language, which is excellent. There's another Alan Watts video there and uh, Vilianda Ramachandran's a TED video there as well. And all that's in there for you to use as you see fit. So that should keep you busy for a while. If you need anything else, then you know please do come back to me. Uh, we're delighted to help, but there should be another video on this page as well about the Facebook group and up and so go and click on that and it's yours to use and download as you see fit.